Thunder and lightning is unavoidable in the, in the South. Uh, what we recommend with parents is that you try to take as much time as you can to reinforce the safety and the security. Be cognizant of how you're reacting to thunder and lightning. Making sure what your children aren't doing is simply modeling some of your behaviors and some of your anxieties. We don't want a child to be scared, but we recognize that being fearful is part of life. We learn what we need to be afraid of and what we don't. The other thing is to give them information. As a parent, I think it's important that you explain safety procedures for your, your home and for your family. Uh, show them where, if there were a tornado, or a tornado siren or a warning, where do you go? What do you do? Do you go to the basement? Do you have a safe place? Do you have a shelter? Um, if you had a child that was old enough to, to kind of pal around with you, let them help with getting bottled water and batteries and flashlights and prepare an emergency kit. And it gives them a, a sense of empowerment and lets you know that a, as a parent, you're doing the things you need to do to make sure the family's safe. And that way it shows that you're being proactive instead of just reactive to the storm. And while you can never promise there won't be another storm, don't ever make that mistake. Show that you're at least doing all you can to be prepared when the next one comes. I do encourage if there's any concerns, please visit our website at ameliacenter.org. I encourage you to go there for more information.